Aw, oh, I just love that song. It reminds me of when New Orleans was burning down in 1788 and 94. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. The fires of New Orleans in 1788 and 94. The clip that you saw, by the way, um, that's from Interview with the Vampire, which I do not own. This is being used for entertainment and educational purposes. So yeah, um, New Orleans burned down in 1788. You already know, I already told you that. Um, and 94. And basically, so... During this time, New Orleans was a... This is my sister. What do you know about the fire, sis? So, all I know about the fire was that a kid was playing with hay, and, like, they were playing tag or something, and then they knocked over the fire, and then it caused New Orleans buildings to collapse. My little French Quarter fact book will tell me if she got this right. So, according to this fact book, which is the facts are right here, just in case you don't believe me, um... So my sister did get it right, the second and last big fire in December 1794, I was about to say 1974, it's not that recent, started when children playing on Royal Street accidentally set fire to a hay store. Since then, building codes have been enact enacted to protect the city from another great fire. And there's been moments in New Orleans history where they've had, like, fires, like, during Hurricane Katrina. That one time when they had, like, the... Fire in 1988. And a few other times, and there was like that one time last year where there was a fire in the Garden District, some streetcar line up down uptown New Orleans, there was like a fire in a mansion. So you could imagine the second one, just like children playing tag, they're like peekaboo, and then like just like, <laughs> and then they accidentally set fire to a hay store. And then they're like, oh crap, we accidentally set fire to New Orleans. Be quiet, interview with the vampire, be quiet. Okay, it's paused, okay. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about how New Orleans looked like before the fire of 1788. So, so here are a few maps of the city, like, pre-1788. This is, like, French colonial, and then, like, in 1763 it was given to the Spanish, but... You can kind of see, like, the architecture of French New Orleans. French colonial New Orleans was mostly, like, wooden architecture. And, like, yep. like it was wood. It wasn't like the New Orleans we know it as today, like, with the ironwork. And it was, like, wood, okay? And, like, the only surviving structures from that period is, like, the Earthline Convent. I think Lafitte's black shop, blacksmith. <laughs> and then Madame John's legacy. <laughs> so, after the New Orleans fire, 1788... Like, basically, <laughs> this is the map of the French Quarter. Like, if you saw the map that I showed you, this this whole area was, like, destroyed. So then the French were like, aw, and then they start rebuilding. And then, like, six years later, 1794, it burned down again. And then the Spanish, and then the Spanish are like, no, we're not gonna, like, you're gonna need to build with brick. It's safer... And then New Orleans ends up looking like this, like the Spanish architecture, like the New Orleans we know it as today. So, yeah. And did you see that on the bottom, guys? That is my, um, Pinterest page. Teach Orleans, just like my channel, um, go follow my Pinterest page. Subscribe! Yeah.